Hey there, knife fans. Love Them Knives channel. And we have uh, a little review today. And I got to do it today on Black Friday. It's like, nah, I just, I you can't. I just ate a big plate of leftover like turkey stuffing. <sighs> but these are going out tomorrow morning. First thing. So I either got to do it or not do it at all. Um, Hogue X5 Knives. Four inch blade. And yes, three and a half inch blade. Yes, I've, I've done a video on these before. Um, these are like a limited edition. These are different than the others. And I don't know um, these if you can see these colors that well. I'm looking down through my monitor and eh, it, it, this is kind of a tricky color. This is supposed to be the green and yes it looks green and yes the insert g mascus looks green um it looks a little different than i saw the pictures of the upcoming when this were like first out about this is coming in blah 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 look different um it looked a little lighter brighter green than this this is more of a drab olive or army type green which with the black Cerakote blade, and these are Cerakote as well on the alum aluminum uh, handles. I just, uh, yeah, uh, it's a little bit different color um, than I thought it would be. So let's not get hung up on that too much. That's the way these are, like 60 of the three and a half inch. 60 of the four inch blade limited edition will be issued. They're out. They're out before I thought they would be out. I didn't think they're going to be out till December, uh, mid December. In any case, here is kind of how they look outdoors in the sun. Different, huh? I mean, they look more lighter green. Really strange. Check this out. Hey, let me kick out of this and I'll. Uh, go to another photo. I'll show you the photo of what it was. You know, this was the photo from the distributor, right? Does that look the same? To me, it doesn't. And this looks a lot more like snakeskin here. But you know what? You're talking about this g mascus and it varies as it is produced. But the two colors look very different. And of course, in here, you got the studio lights, which kind of bring different shades out than a sunlight does this is really actually not way far off of that green there it's just that it's it's under these lights and if it's out in the in the direct sunlight it looks lighter like i showed you in that other picture in any case got a guy that wanted me to get these for him and so they're going out tomorrow morning and i thought i would bring them to your attention um as just another iteration of the X5s, this one, three and a half inch blade, right? Eight inch, just a tad, maybe over eight inches overall, right? These are push button. This is four inches. Uh, and with the four inch blade, you know, we're talking over nine and a quarter between nine and a quarter and nine and a half inches overall so it's really strange it's like an inch longer blade but like a uh well i mean but overall length is like an inch and a quarter so you're kind of making up for a little bit extra here like you know three quarters of an inch on the handle length they're kind of cool because they're they are a military type green and I think that that really goes well with the black Cerakote blade, actually. So maybe a more garish green really not as, as nice as these. Probably Hogue <laughs> sent a picture out, but when they took that picture, it was like in really, really bright light and at an angle or... When they got around to actually producing these, this is the way the uh, Anno or Cerakote, whatever, 
uh, did. I, I don't know. It is a little strange. They're very different. But <clears throat> these knives look a little bit different than the picture from the distributor as well. So odd. And these are G Mascus, but the picture from the from the pre-release looked more like rattlesnake skin and not like this. So it's all, you know, you never know what you're going to get. When you get a blue one, you actually get blue. But the blue looked actually lighter blue than this when it was, uh, when that picture was released too. So the colors are not necessarily following exactly the same form or the lighting was just different when the pictures were taken for the, you know, the prototype models that were pictured. In any case, you've got a four inch blade here, three and a half, eight inch, almost nine and a half here. Uh, it's a push button where the blade releases when you push the button. And we've talked about this on previous models where there's, and it's really difficult because these are black to see how that really works. But it's a flipper. It doesn't have bearings. And I haven't taken it apart. But if you look, you really don't, you really don't see... Uh, any bearings in there. There's kind of just uh, an area of the inside of the scale, it looks like, that comes together with this. Although I've never seen an exploded view. Somebody said they had uh, seen one. So, I guess I just haven't looked around enough. Uh, you've got uh, this pivot here that's uh, Torx. It's a number nine Torx. And you get, with these knives... You get the left-handed uh, pocket clip because this will go left-handed like this or right-handed tip-up carry, right? And they give you a Hogue sticker, which you can put wherever you want it and uh, paperwork, right? If you can open it up, and there it is your warranty and that kind of thing. So, care and maintenance. That's lovely. Um, but I just thought, you know, wow, what a bunch of different knives. These only came in three and a half inch tumbled, okay? These come in four or three and a half inch and only black blade, Cerakote, sand and, and black Cerakote on the blade. These three and a half and for Cerakote. Lim and these are limited editions as well as the tan colored ones. And of course you have this lockout feature. Which keeps you from pushing this button to release the blade. Once you push this back. You can push that blade. Uh, that button release and there it goes. And it's got the good detent. Woo! It doesn't have a detent ball. It's kind of a push fit, and you'd have to operate this to kind of get how that works, but it's kind of an interference fit when that blade comes back. Uh, that was close. In the, uh, in this, because there's no, it just pushes all the way in, and then it click. Strange. Different feel to it. Hard to explain. Nice knives, uh, right? Alishowitz, Alan Alishowitz uh, design, CPM 154 steel. So, good steel. Made in the USA. The X5. Really like the design. I'm kind of an X5 fool, crazy fool, uh, but I really like them. The blues sold really well. They're out. I think there may be a dribble or two coming, maybe again. This is a different distributor, and this was their uh, exclusive. This is a different distributor. This was their exclusive. I mean, it's uh, it's really strange, you know. Uh, so I think uh, Hogue just kind of got together and decided they were going to do different combinations of colors and and, you know, 
things like that, materials, as far as Cerakote or just anodized aluminum, G-maskus inserts, none at all. You know, you can get these in a four inch. These were only three and a half, but you can get a four inch tumble blade like this with the black. You can get three and a half with black. You can get the Warncliffe three and a half with black tumbled. You can get black three and a half or four inch <laughs> Warncliffe blade with a black and a G-maskus. I mean, it just, uh, it never ends. So there's a lot of different uh, things. I like the spear point. I really do. The harpoon style here. Uh, the blade is uh, pretty heavy stock. If you can get a bead on how that goes. It's over an eighth inch. It's 0.15 and it's almost four millimeter thickness. Right? So really nice is a false edge up here. Lots of meat here for piercing slicing great grind for that i mean kind of an odd shape you wouldn't think this would be your kind of standard user type design but i think it would be really user friendly it feels good in the hand and uh the pocket clip is not obtrusive at all but it's springy so you know that go right into your pocket not a problem the handle's not real thick it doesn't feel like it is you know, and it's really strange because look at that six tenths of an inch, right? That's pretty thick handle, actually. 15.27 millimeters. Let's see if this one's thinner. That's kind of strange. Let's get it right there. Hmm. 14.78 millimeters and still almost six tenths of an inch. 0.58. All right, folks, let's see how much they weigh. How heavy is that four inch blade to get? You know, it doesn't feel that heavy. Of course, this is aluminum. Uh, there's no skeletonizing here. Okay. And you got the backspacer. Really, it's just the two halves coming together. You've got these torque screws connecting them right no screws on that side they come through from this side this is the business end right let's see how much it weighs and we got the little scale off to the side here 5.6 ounces 158 grams so what do you think hmm 158 grams 5.6 not that heavy considering it's over nine inch knife and this one 130 grams, 4.6. So you got a one ounce uh, lighter knife here. This is pretty light, three and a half inch, eight inch overall. You know, they're not wasting much handle space, are they? Right? You got the blade right getting there. Not close enough to, to grab you, but they're using it all. I mean, when you got a three and a half inch blade, a lot of knives that have a three and a half inch blade are like eight and a quarter, eight and a half overall. So this is not quite as long, yet you still got the three and a half inch blade. Really? No jimping here or here. You see that? I don't really know what this is for other than it's a styling cue. Um, I'm not, I don't know what particularly that would do for you i like it but i don't know what if there was any functional reason for that of course these very functional for uh grip right and then of course you got that g10 which is really grippy here so you got a good grip there no jimping here although for styling purposes, I don't know that I'd want it, you know, there. And I think this knife, I don't know. I mean, for what they cost, you know, uh, they're like MSRP at round 203 and 220 something. So would it be your grab and carry work knife? Probably not. So these will probably see a lot of collectors 
and therefore I don't know how much it makes a difference. And you know what? I, I don't know uh, if the jimping is all that necessary. You got a good grip here and you got a good guard here. And, uh, you know, I don't know. So, what do you think? Do you like that kind of army green black blade? I don't know. Um, well, you know, it's, it's not like a bright Christmas green. And this was a pretty bright blue. You know, this was out there and a lot of people really like this with that tumbled blade. And I did too. Too bad they didn't make that in a four inch. That would have been cool. Um, and you know, hell, I'd like to see, I'm so ho crazy on these X5s that, you know, if they made it in, uh, you know, a Christmas green and a, and a red and a purple and yellow, I don't know. I'd probably have to get one of each and then I'd be absolutely broke. But these are, yeah, I like these. Um, they're not that heavy considering, I mean, this is under six ounces, almost nine and a half inches overall. Big knife, big knife, right? Very comfortable and great steel, right? CPM, 154. Let me see if it'll cut a piece of paper. Yep, it'll cut a piece of paper. Yes, it will. I'm going to assume both of them are probably pretty sharp. Yeah, nice. I, I like a bigger, heavy, a bigger, not necessarily heavier, but I like a bigger blade. So yeah, three and a half I'd carry. Okay, I like three and a half. That's good. Four, that's about as big as I want to carry uh, reasonably, but that's, it's so cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just so cool to know. I mean, that you got a nine inch plus knife in your pocket. Uh, it's, it's, it's the real deal, folks. It's real, it's really a nice knife. I really like both of these very much. Yeah. Come with a nice, you know, nice pouch, you know, it says Hogue on it. And of course, like I said, you get the sticker, paperwork, the extra clip, nice blue box with Hogue on it. Uh, you know, these are manual knives, as it says. These are not automatics or assisted opening. They're a flipper. Yeah. Got plenty of room for your lanyard, right? Lots of room. Pretty practical knife overall, really. I like the design. I just think the design is so wicked, so bad boy, really nice. I'm crazy about them. And uh, God only knows, uh, but there's no way I could own one of every uh, variation. I just, nah, I just don't have the budget for it. But I really like this. These are going out. I have a four inch that I'm putting in my collection. And I got this one in my collection. And I don't know, but before they run out, I'm going to have to get a four inch of this and put it in my collection. This one's on the knife sale. If you haven't seen that video, it's my Black Friday knife sale. That's the one before this video. So you need to check that one out because we got a whole bunch of Spydercos and Ganzos and all kinds of things. Still for sale on that knife sale. In any case, just thought I'd pimp that. All right, folks, thank you so much for your time. Make your comments below. And yeah, it's all good. The lighting in here, maybe not show these to their best advantage, but out in the sunlight, they look a lot, a lot lighter green, as I showed you in that picture. Uh, but you know, there's something subtle and good looking about this kind of deep army green really uh yeah i like it i like it they look lighter in person than they do on camera yeah but it was a big surprise when i opened them up very different thank you so much for your time you know what we do yeah we love them lives